on something. Put your electronics down, go find something. Like a T-Rex. Yeah. That's amazing though. That's, I mean, how, it's pretty rare for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> But you're out about find something they're like they're that. Be pretty famous for the rest of their lives. And yeah. See what they've discovered. I, I you know, the excitement is uh, is that we're gonna have a quiet night. Yep. Okay. Past couple of nights we've had severe weather that we've been watching carefully those impact days. Uh, but now tonight's gonna be very quiet. I, and Jackson, we haven't uh, been able to show something like this in a very long time because even last year we had major drought situation. And look at this, for the first time, and I really don't know how long, I can say there is no drought situation for all of Kansas City area. Now, those of you like in Lane County, Missouri, you're still under what we call a dry condition, but you do not have the moderate to severe drought or extreme. Now you go a little farther out, there's still needing quite a bit of rainfall in central and western Kansas, but most of Missouri looks like it's uh, doing pretty well when it comes to rainfall amounts. And so that's that's good news. So it's really good news. Now for the upcoming week, Monday is going to be golden and pleasant. Plenty of sunshine. It's going to be probably the uh, uh, the less humid day for the entire week. Tuesday and Wednesday, it's really going to start heating up quickly. And our next chances of any rainfall will be probably just a few spotty showers here and there, starting with Thursday. Right now, though, on a Sunday afternoon in downtown Kansas City, we're at 80 degrees. Relative humidity at 39%. Our wind speed is about 7 miles an hour, and the pressure is beginning to drop. We're reading at 30.03 inches. 83 in Chillicothe, Missouri. Trenton, you're at 82. Marshall at 79. Looking good for Lawrence and, and Leavenworth, 83, 82. And Butler, you're about uh, 78 degrees. Your wind flow is continuing from a northeast direction, about 5 to 10 miles an hour. It'll be that way for the overnight. Clouds and radar, absolutely nothing. So it's a little farther out. Remember all the rain we've been showing the past few days heading our way? That is not the case tonight. Kansas will get a well needed break from rainfall. And it uh, looks like Missouri, a little bit of a, looks like leftover rainfall near Cape Girardeau, and that is it. That continues to scoot off into the Tennessee Valley. And for us, just enjoy the nice quiet weather tonight through tomorrow. Not much activity, so high pressure will take control and we'll let it do so. Now, Heat's going to kick in starting by Tuesday and Wednesday. Look at all the warm air to the south. Oklahoma City 85, northern Texas 86. We're going to be tapping into that, but not this evening. Enjoy it. Get out and enjoy 69 degrees at 10 o'clock tonight. Your wind flow again from the northeast direction around uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. Get out in 79 and 80 degrees for the high. That will probably be the somewhat coolest day for the upcoming week. Those of you to the southwest probably pushing 81 for Ottawa. Butler 79, 82 possibly for St. Joseph. Now, nine day forecast. Quiet conditions on Tuesday, 83. Wednesday, quiet conditions, 89. A late, late shower on Thursday, high of 92. 89 to 90 degrees as we get to the end of the week. And next weekend, we're talking 88 and 91.